In 500 meters, turn right. No, but first you have to continue straight. No, I, I mean, and then turn left. Hello, my name is Tamsin and I'm from Sense Education. Today we're going to be discussing advertisements, graphs and maps. First, we need to talk about what is an advert or an advertisement. What do you think it is? And what kind of adverts or advertisements have you seen around you? Why? Why do we have adverts? An advertisement is a notice or announcement that has been made to promote a product, a service or an event. So let's look at what that means. So a product is something that you can sell, something that's being promoted. What is being promoted here? Aha, a chicken burger is being promoted. So a product could be anything from skincare, it could be food, it could be drinks, um, anything that you can um, buy and receive. Next, a service. First, what is being promoted here? What service? Have a look at the adverts and tell me what is being promoted. Aha, so professional sport training or fitness training. And we know that because it says things like gym and fitness. It says here at the bottom, professional sport training. So we know that it's talking about their slogan is to uh, shape your body and stay fit. And it's telling you to get in touch. So service is something that you give to somebody to make their life better, such as um, a car service or car wash, um, these gym people, a uh, event company where they maybe cater and give you food. That's a service. And then um, advertisements that promote an event. So something that is happening like a carnival or a, um, a music festival or a run that's happening or race that's happening. So what event here, what are they promoting here? Good, a fun fair and festival or a carnival. But here at the bottom, it says fun fair and festival. Good. Okay, and they, at the end of the day, all these advertisements, they want us to buy something. They want us to go to the event. They want us to um, get their service. They want us to buy their product. Sometimes, yes, these things can be free, true, but they still need to advertise it so that people can arrive to the event, so that people can get the free things. A graph is a visual representation of data. And so this helps us to gather all this information that we have and to put it in a clear graph form so that we can see without having to count every single time. So imagine you wanted to count how many cars were blue, how many cars were black, how many were white, and you kept counting, counting, counting. How are you going to put that information into a graph or into a organized way so that people can look at it and know the answer immediately because all i want to know is which car um what percentage for instance um has white what percentage of people have blue and so if you have a graph it helps us to visualize the numbers helps us to organize the data that we have collected and it's easy to read so there's pie charts and bar graphs and lots of different um, graphs that are used for different purposes. Next, a map. A map is a representation of an area or land. So I'm sure that you have seen a map before or seen your parents on their phone looking at Google Maps to see where they need to go. And that will help us to lead us to where we need to be. If you want to go to your friend's house and you have no idea how to get there, a map is going to help you to show you the roads, to show you where to turn, um, 
how far away they are, all kinds of things. Okay, so now we're going to play a relay race and see who gets to the end of the line first. So you can pick a character and every time you get the answer correct, you are going to move forward. Let's go to number one. Is the following an advertisement, a graph or map? Which one? Have a look at the wording, have a look at the picture. What are they trying to tell you? Let's see, an advertisement. Yes, excellent. It is an advertisement, good. Okay, now I'm going to make this person, he's running forward in the race, woohoo. Number two, what is the product that is being promoted? What is being promoted here? Yeah, have a look, it says sale everywhere. What else does it say? Women's fashion, excellent clothing. And I'm going to move this girl forward. Number three. The graph shows how many trees were planted by four different learners. So what does the graph show us? There's your answer. How many trees were planted by different learners? Okay, now we can see immediately, and that's what I was saying with graphs. I don't even need to count one, two, three, four, five. I already know Mia has planted the most trees out of them all and John has um, planted the least number of trees out of it all. Okay, number four. Is the following an advertisement, graph or map? Have a look what it's telling you. I heard it, you said a map. Yes, that's correct. Excellent. And this girl's going to move forward. She's running super fast. What? When, sorry. When does the event take place? Now you need to look for the date. When does it take place? Yes, on Saturday, the 28th of July, 2018. Excellent. Yay, she gets to catch up a little bit. Good, good, good. And number six, is the following an advertisement, graph or map? What is it trying to tell you? You think it's a map? Uh-oh, graph. Yes, 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 excellent. What is the service that is being promoted? What are they trying to sell you here? What kind of service? Car services, excellent. Sure, she's running super fast. And number eight. Is the following an advertisement, a graph or a map? Which is it? telling you here certain things. This gives you some clues, telling you some things around you. Yes, a map, high five, excellent. It is a map. And this boy here is running, he's trying to catch up. Excellent, so far this girl here is in the lead. To play the rest of the game, go to www.sense-education.co.za slash shop. You will be playing the rest of the relay race and there is a treasure map activity for you to do at the end. So head off to our store and buy this lesson. Have fun shopping. Bye.